Let's look at arithmetic growth in plants. Let's say we have a plant. This is the tip of a plant, the tip of the stem of a plant. And here, if you see the two cells in yellow, these belong to meristematic tissue. And you might recall that meristematic tissue is made of cells which can divide. So these cells divide because they can and they want to, and they form two more cells. However, after that, the bottom two cells in the meristematic tissue, they divide, they decide that we don't want to divide anymore. So they stop dividing, but the top two cells, they're like, okay, we can still divide. So they go ahead and divide and form two more cells. And now these two cells again stop dividing and the top two cells divide again and this goes on and on. So if you notice every time the cells divide two new cells are added. So how do we quantify all this? Let's try doing that and see if we can find any formula for the phenomenon that is happening over here. So let's say each division, each time the cells divide, it happens every hour. So in one hour, two cells are added. So if in one hour, two cells are added, how many cells will be added after three hours? Naturally, 2 times 3, right, which is equal to 6. Now, if I were to ask you, what is the total number of cells after 3 hours? So, in order to find that, you have to remember that we started off with 2 cells in the beginning. So, 2 plus, in the 3 hours, we added 2 times 3 cells. So, 2 plus 2 times 3, which is 2 plus 6, which is equal to 8 cells, which is exactly what we see over here. There are eight cells. Now, let's take a little bit different scenario. Let's say now we start with 10 cells. And let's say after two hours, five cells are added. Then, after one hour, how many cells will be added? 5 by 2, right? Which is equal to 2.5 cells. Of course, 2.5 cells don't really mean anything, but we calculate this just for the sake of simplicity because this is easy. it's easier to calculate things if we follow the unitary method. So now, let's say we want to find out after 6 hours, how many cells are added. We don't want to sit and count. We just want to use mathematics to find that out. And since we've already found out in one hour, 2.5 cells are added. For six hours, we have 2.5 times six is equal to 15 cells that are added. Now, if I were to ask you again, what is the total number of cells? We started out with 10 cells. So first take that, then add whatever we calculated over here, which is 2.5 times six is equal to 15 plus 10, 25 cells. So we have 25 cells in the end. Now let's see if we can choose these two scenarios and find out a formula. Let's say we want to find out the total number of cells after a given amount of time. For any system, it can be any plant with any amount, uh, any number of cells that are added per hour or per minute or whatever it is. So let's say I want to find out nt, where n is the number of cells and t is the time. So at a given time, how many cells are there? We want to find that out. So how do we do that? Let's look at the calculations that we just did for these two different cases. So nt is equal to, so in both cases you see, we start, we first write the initial number of cells that were there in this case 2 and in this case 10. So let's say the initial number of cells is n0. n is again the number of cells and 0 is when time started, when we started counting the time. And then what do we add? We add whatever number of cells were added. So what were added? Over here is 2 times 3. Over here it's 2.5 times 6. So let's see first if there is any similarity. 
2 is the number of cells added in an hour. What about 2.5 here? Again, it's the number of cells added per hour. So that's the rate, that is the number of cells added per hour. It's called the growth rate constant. And then what is this last number here? Over here it's 3 and over here it's 6. Remember that's the time that we were, we wanted to find out uh, the number of cells for. So that will be T. So this is the general formula for this type of growth. It's NT is equal to N0 plus RT and this type of growth is called arithmetic growth. Now let's see what the graph looks like. So what do we plot over here? We plot NT, the number of cells at a given amount of time and the time in hours. So first remember at zero time, we'll take the first case. So at zero time in the first case, there were two cells. So we plot two over here. And then after the first division was done, that is after one hour, we had four cells. And then after two hours, we had six cells. And then after three hours, we had eight cells. So if we were to join the dots, what do we see? We get a straight line. Because we get a straight line, this type of growth is also called linear growth. So we have seen that in arithmetic growth or linear growth, this is the formula that we can use to find out the number of cells in a given amount of time provided we know the growth rate constant which is nothing but the number of cells added per unit time and if we plot the graph of growth we see a straight line.